Hello my friends, this is Jonesy Boy here and welcome to the Spark Fun Inventors Kit Project Guide for the Blinking LED Project. So first off, let's make sure we have all our equipment here. We need our USB cable, let's set that there. Arduino and breadboard combination right here. Black wire, a red wire, and a green wire. We need an LED. I'm going to choose blue. I like blue. So we'll have a blue LED. And then you need a 330 ohm resistor. It's got to be a 1 6th watt or greater. Okay, first off, let's start with our wiring here. And I will draw out the circuit for you, what it's supposed to look like. Pin 13. Okay. And then we're going to move on to your LED, then you're going to have your resistor. I cannot draw a resistor. <laughs> so that's, um, yeah, 330 ohm resistor. And then you're going to have ground. All right. It's fun drawing. So now that we did that, let's start working on this. So first off, let's set up from pin 13 here to E2. I will plug in our LED. The long pin here is positive and then this is negative. So this is your initial circuit, this is your ground circuit. So we plug these into like that into is that C2 for the positive and C3 for the negative, which will be your ground circuit. Then you're going to have your resistor go from A3 to negative 5. If I'm showing that, I hope I'm showing that well enough. So now that you have that, let's plug in your ground wire here, far end. And we'll plug that into your ground pin there. And then we still have our red wire. Oh, sorry. It's supposed to be this ground. And then we're going to go from 5 volt into positive here. Now we can plug in our board and do a little interesting programming. So as, as you see, that's blinking already with something for some reason. Now let's go in here and we're going to create our program. Make sure port is set to COM4 or whatever COM your Arduino board's on. And then you select which board you have, of course. And for here, we're going to do, let's make a comment just to make sure that we know what this program does. So that's how you start out a comment block, forward slash star. Now we're going to do star forward slash to finish our comment. So let's go over the code one more time. So we have void set up open parenthesis, close parenthesis, open curly bracket, pin mode, open parenthesis, 13, comma, output, all caps, close parenthesis, semicolon, close curly bracket, void loop, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, so this is starting up our loop here, open curly bracket, now we have digital write, now notice this is all camel case, right? So camel case means that there can be a lowercase at the beginning and then you uppercase the next word in the in the variable or the statement. So you have to do, because it's all ran together, you can't really read it that well if you don't camel case. And then we have, it selects pin 13, sets it to high, which turns the LED on. Then we have a delay of 1000 milliseconds, which does, um, <clears throat> Pardon me, 
which waits for a second, digital right, 13 low, which turns the LED off, and then we have a delay of 1,000. You know, another another one second delay. Let's verify the code. Once now that it's verified, we need to upload it to our board, and this is what we receive. Receive a nice blinking LED. So as we can see, pin 13 has an LED on it, and what that what that does is this code tells this LED to blink, which in turn, because it's already connected here, pushes that in, that same info to this LED. So the resistor controls the flow of current to the ground from there. Thus now we have this beautiful this beautiful setup. So it's a nice blinking LED. Now we can change it to kind of do whatever we want. Um, if we want it to blink faster, let's do one tenth the time. So 100 milliseconds. Let's upload that and let's see what that looks like. So as you can see now, it blinks a whole lot faster, obviously. Now let's do, oops. Let's take off another zero here and then try and upload that. So it blinks, it blinks super fast now. Let's take off one more zero and upload that. So it's basically just on because it's it's trying to blink too fast at that point. And now let's actually let's wait six full seconds. So every six seconds it will blink off or I'll turn off and then it'll turn back on. So there's how you control an LED with your Arduino board. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. This is one of, one of my first times making a video like this. So tell me what you think. Why don't you hit the like button if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos as such. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.